Yo, what's going on guys and welcome back to another video here on VH Escapes. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying the latest one. Sorry there's been a little lack of videos. We're just kind of chilling out and uh, setting up the new place. As you guys can see, it's looking a little bit different from last time you guys were here. But today we're going to go ahead and look at how we can add some house plants into our aquarium. So you guys a quick little update on the Tetra tank over here. It's uh, all coming together quite nicely. Them, these plants are actually coming to life here in the back corner. If it's going to focus, there we go. So I can probably go for a retrim on those again. I've already done once on these stems just over this side over here and they all think I'm going to be feeding them so they're going a bit spastic. So <laughs> don't worry about the color on these guys. I just turned the lights on for them so they're a little bit discolored at the moment but they should be fine in a little while as well. And we'll check out our little beta as well. He's chilling over in the corner. He's chilling just up here in the corner in there as well. I think I'm gonna go ahead and rescape him back into his old tank soon enough and actually get this place looking a little bit nicer for him and uh, it'd be a bit more room as well in the tank down here as well. So we'll probably do that um, in the next video, but yeah, for right now, we're gonna go ahead and talk about getting house plants into your aquariums. As you guys can see up here, I have a fern already in. Um, it's already been put in for ages. I think I did it when I first started the tank, but I'm gonna go show you guys how you guys can do it if you guys aren't sure. So first up, you'll need um, some different house plants. I'll try and leave a list of what's actually pretty decent and pretty common that you guys can grab. Now this piece of lily is not doing overly well. I don't, it's just been super hot here lately and this has been absolutely cooking out here. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and try and see how it goes in the tank. So I'm gonna go ahead and use one of those and come out this way. Then I'm gonna be also adding in this um, pothos up here, um, also known as devil's ivy. So we're gonna use a little bit of that and then the peacefully as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by getting these guys ready. So let's go ahead and move them down the other end of the house. So basically for this um, pothos here, um, I've got inside here, you can see there's a couple of like different root sections, which is what I'm gonna be mainly um, taking apart. Like I'm not gonna use the whole thing because I do want a little bit of it left over. Um, probably would be wise to be doing this outside, but anyways. So I'm gonna go ahead and find all of the connecting vines and everything like that and just kind of shift them to one side so then I know exactly what I'll be working with. So we've got this nice little clump just here. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just kind of like loosely shake it around in the dirt that it's in, in the pot. If you're using the whole thing, you can just go ahead and go outside and just tip it out. Uh, you know, onto the ground outside. Uh, but for me, as I said, I'm just gonna be using part of it. So I wanna keep a lot of this soil and everything still in there. All right, so what I have to do is go outside and just kind of tip out all of the dirt. So I don't know if we're gonna be using all of the pothos or not, but we have it here. I've also got a bucket of water. So just inside here, we're gonna go ahead and I shook off most of the dirt that I could just loosely. So just inside here, we're left with just um, the roots and some of the pothos just here. So what I'm gonna do is try and separate this a little bit if I can. Okay, so now that we've got this one clump just here, I'm gonna go ahead and do is dunk it in the water and try and shake off a lot of this dirt. What you will find is you'll have to probably change the water once or twice as well. As you can see in here, it's looking pretty gross. So give me two seconds, I'll check this outside and fill it up again. All right, so there we go. Just rinse it one more time. Um, if you guys wanna get super pedantic, I suppose, you could go outside and um, flush it with a hose as well. But I think that's looking pretty good and there's a lot of construction going outside, so I don't wanna go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and grab this uh, nice little piece of pothos over here. Let's cruise into my room now for me in my tank uh currently i have these like little tiny like white cutouts at the back which were originally meant for the filtration um, which is kind of good because uh, these plants will not only look good they'll also serve as filtration for all the excess nutrients in your water um, especially pothos like it's just going to go absolutely crazy in here so what we want to do is make sure we submerge the roots but we want to leave the rhizome uh out of the water. So I think I should try and place this a little bit nicely and I'll show you guys. So as you guys can see there, the roots are down in the water, but the rhizome, so the part that is like the where the roots actually come from is sitting outside. But as long as those roots are inside the water there, so that as you guys can see, they're a little 
uh, cutouts and this little compartment is here. The roots will go in there and they'll just feed and uh, cycle through this water as well. So everything is all pretty good now. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same exact thing to the piece of and uh, yeah, I'll meet you guys back to uh, pop that one in as well. Okay, so I've gone ahead and uh, got the piece lily ready and I also got another little piece of pothos as well that I was gonna add in on this left-hand side just up here, just to kind of combine it together. Um, let's see if I can squeeze them all in. That's gonna be the issue because this one here has obviously the, um, the filter coming out on this side, so it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to get them all in here, but. There we have it. So it kind of looks like a little bit of a hot mess at the moment over in this section, but also at the same time, I think it's gonna look pretty good. I think once these pea sillies pop up, they, um, they should be able to kind of thrive a little bit better as well. Um, we'll just kind of get them sitting a bit nicer and then there we go so we've got a little bit of the fern over in that corner we have some up in here as well and i think coming down from this angle oh yeah i think that just adds so much more to the tank and just kind of hides you know that kind of like right hand side kind of section helps make this top pop a lot nicer as well and then like from inside the tank's point of view it kind of adds like that extra little bit of um i don't know kind of like 3D-ness, even though we already are, in, you know, seeing it in 3D, but it kind of just helps to bring the tank up a little bit more to life. So we'll see how all this goes. I'm sure it will be all fine. Uh, let me know down in the comments what you guys like to add into your tanks. So yeah, just to reiterate, it's not only good to like, it not only looks good like at the top of your tank, but it also adds um, a lot of beneficial um, resources to the tank. It helps suck up all those excess nitrates and all of that stuff for your tank. Um, they're going to grow like crazy up in there as well. If you guys don't have these little pods in the back here, I'll put up a screenshot right now. Just somewhere on here, there's these little clips kind of thing, like a C-clip, I think they're called. And you just kind of pinch it to the edge of your glass just here like this. And then put the like vines and stuff down through the middle. That's another good way to do it as well. So, so yeah, hopefully uh, we'll be getting into another build shortly. I want to say in the next couple of weeks, but we'll see how we go because, you know, it's always hectic around here so yeah hopefully uh you guys enjoyed this video if you did find it helpful don't forget that like button and subscribe and i'll be seeing you guys in the next video later